Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Shopper Care. Today, I got a very, very special video for you guys today because today I will be returning with a series that I did a couple years back, like a year or two ago. And you guys really seem to like it, so I thought I would brought it back. And that series is Everybody Hate Sean. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, obviously, it's where I go all th I go through your comments, every single one of them, and pick out specific comments that I feel um, that I could, you know, roast or, you know, kind of get mad about a little bit. Um, and uh, because who doesn't like me getting pissed off at, you know, comments? Um, so a lot of you guys really seem to like these types of videos. If you guys want to for me to bring these back, I need you to do me three things. When I need you to hit that thumbs up button as hard as you possibly get. If you guys want to see more videos like this, number two, I need you to double sweet chin music that post in case you post to know exactly what I post and so you are part of the notification squad. And number three, I need you to double sweet chin music that subscribe button if you haven't already because guys, we're so, so close to 300 subscribers. So let's get it. And uh, yeah. Also, if you want to go follow your boy on all of his social media, that'll be all in the description below. Go hit your boy up on there as well. Also, down below is a comment section. You can go on there, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think of the video. And if you guys have any video ideas, just anything about me, the channel, let me know down in the comment section below. And, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get to it. So, reading me comments with your boy, Sean Bullock. The first one. I got I got seven. I got the whole list right here, one to seven. Uh, I picked out seven um, just because it's not an even number, but I kind of picked out the ones that really stood out to me. Um, so yeah, let's just reg let's just get into it. Number one comes from Petru Mu Muscaga Musca. and this this comment relates back to when I did. Um, giving you guys, you know, Lance Stewart's phone number and stuff like that, you know, for him to text him and everything. And this person says, it is fake. That is, that is his text. Well, no shit. Like, I gave you his number for you to text him. I don't know why you're getting so mad. Like, I gave you his number... And you're saying that it's fake. Maybe you're just fake. Did you ever think of that? Maybe you're fake. I don't know. I don't know. Number two comes from Moon Moon. And she, and this is also from the Lance Stewart video. Uh, and she says, False video. How is it false? How is it a false video? I'm giving you Lance Stewart's number so you could text him and call him. And you're just saying that's false? Why don't you do it yourself? Why don't you give him a call? Why don't you give him a text? But no. You're just like, Psh, that's false. Psh, this is a false video. I'm just gonna type down the comment section and say Psh, that's just false and give your boy a little Thumbs down for it as well Why well, gotta hate on your boy like that? I'm trying to give you guys the greatest content that I possibly can and You're just gonna you know Psh, throw it out of the water just like that Man I try to give you guys the most greatest content, and this is what happens. Number three comes from a bot. He says, You look like SpongeBob. Get a good look at this face. Am I square? I don't think so. Where do you get. Me being Spongebob. Because last time I checked, last time I looked in the mirror, I'm not square. I'm not, I'm not like a rectangle. I'm not a square. 
I don't have skinny legs. I don't got skinny arms. Like Spongebob. Where do you get me calling me Spongebob? Is it my buck teeth? Because I'm pretty sure Spongebob doesn't have a chipped tooth like your boy. So who do you calling Spongebob a bot? Cause I'm pretty sure you're Spongebob because Spongebob is a bot. <sighs> no wonder you're a bot. Cause you wanna be a bot. Anyway, number four is from Michael Levin, Levin, Levincha? I have no idea. And this is from the fidget spinner video, and he just flats out, flat out says cringy. And I will admit, because I'm a man of my word. A lot of my videos are cringy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm literally not gonna lie to you. A lot of my videos are cringy. But there are some that aren't. You're calling my video that has 1.1k views on it, I might add. You're calling that cringy? Cringy! If you're calling my videos cringy, then your life is just a bunch of cringe. You cringe everybody. You are a complete and utter cringe to every person that you see. Number five. BB Ran Randon. He says, Wow. So you play Ark or with three R's. First off, I am Mr. Wow. So you play Ark or First off What's an Ark or? And I'm pretty sure or doesn't have 3 Rs. Or only has 1 O and 1 R. So first off, use proper grammar. 2 what is an arc or? Explain to me what is an arc or? Because I'm pretty sure that's not even an instrument. Pretty sure. And I'm an orchestra. And I have a couple of I have a couple of friends in band. And I'm pretty sure if I asked them, do you play the arc or? I'm pretty sure what I'm pretty sure what their answer is gonna be. What in is that? Because I don't even know. So I don't know, BB Randon. I don't know what planet you live on. That, the in that an instrument is an art or. Arc or. I have no idea what that is. And if you do, good. Because you, you learned something that I have not. I'm proud of you for that. Moving forward. Number six comes from John Hawker. And this also comes from the Lance Stewart video. 
And he says that it's clickbait. Well, John Hawker, if that is your real name, let me tell you something. There's a lot of things in this world that are clickbaited. Like Jake Paul. And Logan Paul. And a lot of YouTubers make clickbaited videos. And I will tell you, my friend, that I do not clickbait. And if you try to tell me that every single YouTuber clickbaits, you're wrong. Because there are some YouTubers, like myself, that do not clickbait. And if you're trying to tell me otherwise, go ahead. Seriously, go ahead. Because there is no way in my mind that I could tell you that I clickbait. Not a single time on the channel that I have clickbaited. And if, and if and if you if you pick out a video and says that I clickbait, oh I'll re I'll rewatch the video, and I'll tell you if it's clickbaited or not. So I think I know my videos just a little bit more than you do, John Hawk. Her. Anyway, the last and final, thank God, the last and final comment comes from Brendo Ward and he says you've had better days I have had better days and you're wrong you're wrong and you're right I have had better days But not on YouTube. Every day that I put into YouTube making content for you guys, I've put every single blood, sweat, and tear into a video for you guys. And might I say, it was exquisite. And I just love making content. And yes, I, I have had my better days, but every time I put myself out there and I look into this camera, I make sure that I am well prepared and uplifting for you guys because that is what I do. I try to be an uplifting YouTuber and give you guys uplifting and amazing content that I possibly can because that is how I feel about you guys. I feel like you guys deserve the greatest content that you possibly can from me. And I try my best each and every single day to give you guys the most greatest content that I possibly can. And yes, I there are some videos that I look back and I say, yeah, I could I could have better. You know, this this could have been better, you know, I could have, you know, did better at this and that and this and that in a video. But you know what? I upload that video and I tell myself once I uploaded that video I look at that video I rewatch my videos and I look back at that video and I said oh I, I could have did better at this I could have did better at that but at the end of the day in my mind I know that I could do better than the next
I know I could be better. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing moving forward into 2020. Because... I love doing this for you guys. I, you know, I love making content and I love, you know, always being an uplifting guy, but to these people that, you know, I want to make, I want to make, I want to make something very, very clear when people take the time out of their day and write something like this and you know put it on someone's channel or any or whether it's social media whatever when they put something on social media I don't care I don't care what these people say about me because I don't I'm not that type of guy to get you know to go into you know depression have anxiety all that stuff because I don't care what people think of me I really don't but there are some youtubers and people out there on the world that are on social media like snapchat and Twitter and Instagram that when they see a when they see a comment like this, whether it's a post, a video, whatever it might be, they take they take that comment and they put it in their mind. And they dwell on it, which makes them go into de which makes them go into depression and have anxiety and you know have this emotional state and I, I feel that people should not, you know, do this. But, you know, that's just how our world is, honestly. I'm not going to lie. That's, this is, that's just how people are. And you know what? It's fine. Because it is what it is. And I'm not going to let, you know... People tell me how to run my channel. You know, I love when you guys give me feedback. And I love when you guys give me video ideas. Because I do your guys' ideas. I feed off your guys' ideas. And I make your video ideas into reality. I make them into a video that you guys will enjoy. And I love that. But... When it when people do this and write mean comments and you know I really think about these video about these people and you know I really think okay you know what happened throughout this child throughout their life to you know make these comments and you know it's whatever honestly but you know if you guys want my advice at the end of the day it is what it is a comment's just a comment but some people might take it in the wrong way and like I said before, go into depression, have anxiety, all that stuff. And, you know, do all this stuff. And it's just not good, honestly. So, in my humble opinion, like I said, I'm a positive guy. Um, I try to lift you guys up with, with my content. And... Me personally, if I'm going to write something on someone's, you know, Instagram picture, uh, a YouTuber's video, I'm going to make sure that whatever I'm typing is going to make their, is going to make their day. Whoever the person may be, whatever social media I'm on, 
whether it's Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, whatever. I'm going to make sure that I'm going to think before I write. Because a lot of people just, just type and don't physically and mentally think, okay, once I press send, how is this going to affect somebody? And, you know, it, it really... I'm, I, I really think about this a lot, honestly. And, like, I scroll through other people's comment sections... And, you know, just some of the hate that other YouTubers get. And I, this is this is one thing that I like. I'm just rambling on right now that has, you know, nothing to do with this video. But, you know, I love how our community, our family has a, a bond. And a, let's face it, a lot of YouTubers, some of their communities, they're all out there. And, you know, some YouTubers don't have a bond with their communities. And if you don't have a bond with your community, you know, they're going to go all out. And, you know, it, sh it really surprises me um, on how many YouTubers actually don't have a bond or a community because of their actions or, you know, what videos they put up. And it just really, 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 really makes me think, you know, and that's, that's one of the reasons why I love you guys giving me feedback about, you know, the videos because, you know, cause then I, cause then I can take that, that, that criticism, good criticism and relate it back. Okay. You saying, okay, you know, you guys don't like this video. How can I make it better? You know, how can I make, you know, if if I choose to make another video like this, you know what could I what could I do better? You know that stuff like that, and you know it just makes me feel good about myself, and you know, and I, this, that's what I love about our community. You know, our community is so, you know, together and you know so united that um, that I feel amazing. And I'm kind of just rambling about right now, but hope you guys kind of get what I'm, you know, going at. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you get a big uh, fat one of these. And also hit, let, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, because we are, hit, we are going to hit 300 su subscribers. And also hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload, because I had a lot of other videos, guys, you guys do not want to miss. So stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Doses.